Question number one. The first step in safely transferring a patient from bed to wheelchair is. The right answer is A. Locking the wheelchair brakes. Question number two. Which is the best site for checking pulse in an unconscious adult patient? The right answer is B. Carotid. Question number three. Before administering an oral medication, the nurse must first. The right answer is B. Verify the prescription. Question number four. When donning sterile clubs, the nurse should first. The right answer is A. Wash hands thoroughly. Question number 5. The normal respiratory rate in adults is. The right answer is B. 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Question number 6. Which of the following is the most accurate site for core body temperature? The right answer is B. Rectal. Question number 7. The nurse should place a patient in which position for rectal suppository administration? The right answer is B. Lipped lateral. Question number 8. The most important step in preventing hospital acquired infection is? The right answer is C. Hand hygiene. Question number 9. What is the immediate nursing action if a patient has hypoglycemia? The right answer is C. Give glucose or juice. Question number 10. The correct angle for intramuscular injection is? The right answer is D. 90 degree. Question number 11. A patient on oxygen therapy should avoid. The right answer is C. Using petroleum-based product. Question number 12. Which vein is most commonly used for IV cannulation? The right answer is C. Median cubital. Question number 13. The nurse checks IV fluid level every. Right answer is A. 1 hour. Question number 40. The Glasgow comma scale is used to assist. The right answer is B. Level of consciousness. Question number 50. Which urine output indicates oliguria in an adult? The right answer is A. Less than 30 ml for her. Question number 60. A nurse should flush an NG tube with how much water before and after feeding? The right answer is D. 30 ml. Question number 70. When measuring blood pressure, the cup should be flaced. Right answer is A. One inch above the elbow crease. Question number 80. Which PPE should be removed first after a procedure? Right answer is A. Gloves. Question number 90. The first sign of hypoxia is usually. The right answer is B. Restlessness. Question number 20. In adult CPR, the chest compression depth should be. The 
The right answer is B. 2 inches. Question number 21. The nurse turns an immobilized patient every. The right answer is C. 2 hours. Question number 42. The first nursing action for a patient with seizure is. The right answer is A. Place patient on site. Question number 43. For subcutaneous injection, the angle of insertion is. The right answer is C. 45 degree. Question number 24. The safest site for IM injection in infants is. The right answer is C. Vestus lateralis. Question number 25. A patient in shock should be positioned in. The right answer is B. Supine with leg elevated. Question number 46. A urinary catheter bag must always be kept. The right answer is B. Below bladder level. Question number 27. Which type of recursion is required for tuberculosis patients? The right answer is C. Earborne. Question number 28. The nurse uses which landmark to give IM injection in the diphtide? Right answer is B. Acromion process. Question number 29. A patient omits after oral medication. The nurse should first. The right answer is D. Assesses how much was omitted. Question number 30. What is the normal adult systolic BP range? The right answer is B. 90 to 120 mmHg. Question number 31. In case of fire in hospital, the nursing first action is. The right answer is A. Rescue patients in danger. Question number 32. The first step of wound dressing change is. Right answer is B. Wash hands. Question number 33. The most accurate method of confirming NG tube placement is. The right answer is C. X-ray examination. Question number 34. The primary sign of fluid overload in IV therapy is. The right answer is B. Cough with crackles. Question number 35. Which vitamin enhances wound healing? The right answer is C. Vitamin C. Question number 36. Which electrolyte imbalance causes muscle cramps and tetany? The right answer is B. Hypocalcemia. Question number 37. The nurse must report which urine color immediately. The right answer is C. Reddish brown. Question number 38. Which patient need protective isolation? Right answer is C. Immunocompromised patient. Question number 39. Which position is best for a patient with dyspine? Right answer is B. Fallers. Question number 40. 
Which solution is used for cleaning wounds? The right answer is a normal saline. Question number 41. The nurse must administer ear drops to an adult by filling the auricle. The right answer is B. Up and bake. Question number 42. In tracheostomy care, the nurse must keep it bedside. The right answer is D. All of the above. Question number 43. Which lab test is most important before administering heparin? Right answer is B. APTD. Question number 44. Which type of enema is used to relieve constipation? Right answer is B. Cleansing. Question number 45. The nurse should avoid massaging it. Right answer is B. Bony prominences. Question number 46. A patient with nasogastric suction is at risk for. The right answer is C. Hypokalemia. Question number 47. The nurse identifies pressure ulcer stage 2 is. Right answer is B. Partial thickness skin loss. Question number 48. Which is the most common site for measuring blood glucose using a glucometer? The right answer is C. Finger stick. Question number 49. The first step in post mortem care is. The right answer is B. Place the body in supine position. Question number 50. Which nursing action prevents deep vein thrombosis in bedridden patients? The right answer is C. Facio and ectoleg exercise. 